how are you how are you how are you how are you welcome back to shikom tv usa this is your home of hope this is where we say in our zekana so today guys uh our show today is proudly brought to you by Fins immigration services this is a consultation firm based in dallas texas where we assist you achieve your dream abroad for all your immigration needs come to us and we are going to assist you in one way or in all the ways that you that you would like to okay so today guys we are looking at another category of visas yes guys 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 we are done with diversity visa we are done with student visa if you have not watched that video on student visa go and look for that student visa if you can try that way and today we are looking at visit visa or b1 b2 visa that is visit visa slash tourism visa so guys here i am with all the information you need about visit visa all right so guys yes you can go or you can move to the u.s as a visitor or as a tourist but this one is not permanent this is temporary underline the word temporary it is not permanent okay so if you would like to come visit america there are ways that you can do all right for once you need to have an invitation you have to have an invitation from a person who is in america legally or from an institution that is fully registered in america yes or that person who is uh, inviting you has a event that is taking place or the, this organization that is inviting you has an event that is going on. It is not just coming to visit. I can't just write you an invitation letter. Oh, I would like to invite John to come visit me. There, is, there have to be a reason, a major reason as why you are coming to visit the united states of america okay if you are tourists if you are coming here as a tourist then your case is a bit different because of the requirements that you are needed to provide to provide let us look at this visitor who is not coming as a tourist okay this is just a visitor like you 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 yourself who is watching me you want to come maybe there is a conference yeah, there is a seminar maybe there is a graduation there is a wedding there is um there is a this these pastors who are ordained there is the ordination all these events all these events they are grounds for you to be invited to come and attend to come and attend we are heading to summer guys and this video is so 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 timely because you're heading to summer and most of these <laughs> events they happen during this season so may june july and august summertime summertime most of these events they are so 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 many events that are happening in summer for the last two years things have been different but right now i can see we have been planning uh conferences seminars ordinations meetings okay last last year it was virtual but nowadays or this year things have have, have went back to normal corona is like almost dying so many of the conferences and all these events will be done one-on-one -on -one. so you guys you stand a chance of getting invitation to this place okay that is when high school student graduate uh university student graduate college students graduate so many graduations are coming this summer so if you if you stand a chance of getting those uh invitations grab that chance and come as soon as possible yes grab that chance Come as soon as possible and attend those events. I know you are like, oh, Shiko, but in my country, uh, the schedule or the booking is until next year. I do not despise that. Yes, I know it is until next year. You can book for next year today. And then you grab the available uh, available slot, okay? But what I know is like, those people who had, who had scheduled for the last two years, 
they are dropping 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 because the event they had applied for it was done and gone but now where why are they going for the interview they they don't have an event to attend or maybe they don't want to or maybe they are like ah this thing is i i will just lose it so they are like dropping 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 so very early in the morning you if you go to that to that website yes you will find available slots which are closer closer okay yes guys we have been doing this research and we know last week we had two parents who had applied for the visit visa and they were scheduled in 2023 but one of the son was like hey shiko my mom is taking too long i want to to bring them closer closer and i was like do this very early in the morning or any time you can go to the portal and you see if there is anybody who has dropped so that you can place them so that you can place them uh to a closer date and that's what he did it took him uh like three months and he got a very closer slot and the parents went although they, they didn't go together he 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 managed to bring one of the parent closer and then the the other parent was uh placed in like two months so the parent one of the parents went to the embassy last week and his visa was approved yes so the other parent will be going in july but they had moved all the way from two from 2023 so what i'm talking about is nairobi nairobi embassy do that do that apply and then be checking if there is any available slot now uh and the reason why now the mom wants to come on in do or, or in july is uh because something came up and she don't want to come closer so she wants to maintain that one i know if she wants to come maybe anytime soon there has to be an available slot okay so guys if you do that even if you apply for next year at least you have done something don't just see it waiting for mana from heaven no you have to make a step take a step and everything will fall in place very very okay so do what you can and leave the rest to god do what you can and leave the, leave the rest to god if you didn't do the, the uh, diversity visa uh you did you can't uh qualify or you do not qualify for student visa you can try this visa visit visa and if you don't know how to go about it come to Finns immigration services we help you achieve your dream abroad if you can't if you can't do it yourself then come for our services i normally tell people if you do if you can do it yourself do it do it do it yourself if you are not if you're not able to do it come for us or come to us we are going to do it for you we are going to look for the conferences available we are going to look for the seminars available for you and guys guys <laughs> hear me and hear me well i know now we are like shiko I want to apply for myself. Can you look for me for a conference? If we do that, at least you are going to pay us. Okay, we can't do that for free because we have, we are working. So we are an office, so we can't do that for free. So if you need our services, all our details are there. All our details are there in the description box. Come to our website and book a session with us and we are going to guide you on how to go about it, okay? So whenever you are coming for fins, just know fins is a company you have to pay for the services. We do not offer our services for free. So Shiko is separate from fins. When you get Shiko at fins, just know Shiko at fins is somebody different from Shiko on YouTube. Okay? So guys, come guys, do that. You can apply yourself by your by yourself. If you can't do by yourself, then come for our services and pay. If we do that for you, those ones are paid services. I have to, to tell you because we do not offer free services. People have been coming for us expecting fees to offer free services, which is not, which is not uh, possible, which is not possible. But whatever we do, guys, you have been receiving a lot of uh, reviews about fees and we thank god because we are doing it from deep down our heart 
Fins is not for Shiko Hope. Fins is for is a company for many people. So I can't go against my company because we are here to help everybody's needs. Okay? So thank you so so much. Thank you so so much. And try your luck. B1, B2 visa is possible. I know now you are like, ah, what about me? Who will be or who wants to come as a tourist? Okay, let me put this clear. As uh, if you come for for if you come with if you want to apply for B1, B2 visa, you need a bank statement. Yes, if you are a tourist, if you are applying for the tourist visa, you need to show a very strong bank statement, of course, because you are coming to tour, you are coming to spend money. Okay, so your case is a bit harder than the actual visitor visa. So try your luck, try your luck, try your luck is possible in our Zekana. next time i'll be coming now with other types of visas work visas guys and let's meet in the next video so if you didn't watch the student visa make sure you watch the student visa and share the link with other people who might try the student visa and they can apply and join us over here in america so this program is proudly sponsored by Fins Immigration Services. We help you achieve your dream abroad. God keep you and all is possible. You know, it's a kind of... Bye!